Today we're going to begin chapter 7. This is on simplifying radical expressions. And in this first lesson we're going to be working with just perfect roots. This is section 7.4. And we're going to be working with just things that come out to be perfect whole numbers. So what is a radical expression? A radical expression is any kind of root, a square root, cube root, fourth root, fifth root, you have six roots, any kind of root. Now if it's a square root, you're just going to see the little house. You're not going to see you know, any kind of number out there with it. A cube root's going to have a three, fourth root's going to have a little four out there, and a fifth root's going to have a little five, and so on. So the little number out in, out in front of the house tells you what kind of root that you have. When you have a square root, you're looking for pairs of twos. Two of a kind means that it can leave the radical. Um, when it's a cube root, it takes three of a kind to leave the radical. Fourth root takes four of a kind, and so on. So in this first example, we're doing the cube root of 64. And when I break down 64 in a factor tree, since this is a cube root, that means I need three of a kind. And I have three fours here. They make a complete group, and so my answer would be four. Now when I do the fifth root of 3,125, this is a fifth root, so it takes five of the same number, and I have five fives, so five is my answer. When I break down the square root of 36, it's a square root, so I need two of the same number, and I have two sixes when I break down 36 in a factor tree, and so I get six for my answer. The fourth root of 81, breaking down 81 in a factor tree, I have four threes, they make a complete group, so three is my answer. Now I know that was really fast going through those with the factor trees, but for the most part, if it's going to be a perfect root, meaning it's going to come out to give you a whole number answer, we're going to go ahead and just do these in our calculator. You can enter cube root 64 in your calculator by going to math, go down to number four, you'll see cube root, type in 64 and hit enter. To do a fifth root, you would hit the number five, and then go to math and pick x root and type in 3125 and hit enter it'll give you 5 for square root 36 square root is that second x squared type in 36 and it'll give you 6 for the answer and then fourth root is done the same way as the fifth root you hit the number 4 go to math pick x root type in 81 and hit enter and you'll get 3 Okay, so try to find the roots for each one of the following. Pause the video until you're ready to go over these. Cube root negative 8, we're going to ignore the negative and break down 8. You're looking for groups of 3 of the same number. You have 3 twos. 2 is your answer, but it's just negative because it was a cube root of a negative. You can do that, it's just a negative answer. Square root of a negative 100. This is going to be no solution. You can take the square root of a negative number. You can't do that. You can take the cube root or the fifth root, but you can't take the square root or a fourth root. It's got to be an odd number root in order to have a negative answer. On the fourth root of 256, we need four of the same number. We have four fours, so four is our answer. On the cube root of negative 27, we need three of the same number. We have three threes and it's going to be negative 3 because of the negative underneath the cube root. Uh, 16 over 81, break that down, we need 4 of the same number. We have 4 of the same number, which is 2 thirds, so 2 thirds is our answer. Okay, let's try some with some variables. On the first one, we're doing the square root of 4x to the 6. We're going to break down the square root of 4 just like we did in the previous problems. We need the square root, so we need two of the same number. We have that with our twos. And now with x to the six, I'm going to draw out six x's, putting them in groups of two together at a time. So that's three complete groups that I can make. So two for a coefficient, x to the third to represent your three groups of x's. Final answer. On the next one, I'm going to draw out three a's and six b's, putting them in groups of three of a kind. That's one group of a's and two groups of b's. So a, b squared, final answer. On the next one, I'm going to draw out four x's and eight y's, putting them in groups of fours. That's one group of x's and two groups of y's. So x to the first and y to the second, final answer for this one. Try these on the more practice slide, and I'll pause until you're ready to go over them. First one, square root four, we break down four in a factor tree. Four is two times two, and there's your set of two numbers that are the same. I'm going to draw out two x's and four y's. I'm putting them in groups of two together at a time. 
So that's one group of x's and two groups of y's. So two coefficient x and then y squared for our final answer. On the next one, we are breaking down 27 in a factor tree. And we are looking for groups of three of the same number and that we have with the threes. When I draw out six c's, I'm putting them in groups of three. So that's two complete groups that I make. And my final answer would be 3c squared. And I forgot to put the negative in here, but it actually is going to be negative 3c squared because the original problem had a negative in it. And so we should have a negative with our cube root answer. So make sure you go back and put a negative. It should be negative 3c squared. On number, or on the next one, we are going to draw out um, 8x's and 12y's. I'm putting them in groups of 4 of a kind. That's two groups of x's and three groups of y's, so x squared, y to the third, final answer.